Hey, Bob here reporting on how I see it. Okay, as you all know, I cycle a bicycle across America. And let me tell you, when we ride, me and Conrad, me and Jill, you know, whoever's riding with me, I always like to point out as we come up to a city, the drug of that city's choice. Okay, because you can see it right alongside the road. Okay, either you're going to see pill bottles, you're going to see a lot of aluminum foil. Okay, uh, the foil usually means a lot of heroin. Okay, uh, you start seeing glass alongside the road, that's them throwing their pipes out. Okay, but you can actually see it in the people too. Okay, it's everywhere. I mean, I haven't seen one place where it isn't. Okay, major cities, it's a lot more prevalent, but even on the back roads, it's there. Now, here's my question, and this question goes out to all the pharmaceutical companies that make opiates. Okay, what have you given back? Because you guys started one hell of an epidemic. I'm going to tell you that. I've seen that. Okay, uh, I know personal friends, everything else. You knew what you were doing when you did it, okay, and you went ahead and kept doing it. And now, I mean, it's how I see it, okay, it's through my eyes, not yours, okay, through mine, but why the hell would a pharmaceutical company not stop making the medication that's killing people and really restrict it, okay, especially the fentanyl that comes from China and places like that, okay, but we know why there, that all boils down to Washington, D.C., okay, you know. But here's the thing. We, we got a United States government over when, they, when we were in Afghanistan. Garden poppy fields, I've been told. I have seen pictures from vets and stuff. Garden, garden poppy field. So this is to all the presidents. Okay, this ain't, this ain't to one. Okay, this would have to go back to uh, probably Clinton, maybe a little bit farther. Okay, uh, but here's the thing. So, so we guard poppy fields. For what purpose? Can somebody explain that, number one? And number two, how many of you so-called career politicians that have taken a little, uh, what do you call it, uh, lobbying money? Okay, I call it buy my ass money. Okay. How many of you guys have actually sat and wrote out an apology letter Okay, to a mother or father that's found their child OD. Okay, another question. I'd love answers. Okay, I'd love I'd love for you guys to talk to me. Okay, because let me tell you one thing. You ain't gonna shut me up. I'm gonna have fun. Okay, I'm off the bicycle. I need something else to amuse me. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to people. Okay, I'm gonna get their opinions. Okay, I'm gonna talk to ex addicts. Okay, we're gonna see here. Who's at fault? Okay, do I, I blame the addict? Uh, to a point, I'm an ex-addict. Do I blame myself? Hell yeah. Because I knew the choice was going in. And, and that's for every one of you too. I am ain't gonna give you no, no scapegoat here, okay? Every one of us knew that going in. No scapegoat, okay? But the pharmaceutical companies, you knew. You knew the research, you knew what was going down. So, whoever, who's gonna ever say, I'm sorry, okay? Oh, that's right. If you say you're sorry, that means you're liable. That means you, you got to give up some of that money. Okay? So I noticed what you guys did real sneaky. Okay? And, you know, yeah, I, 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 I agree with it to a point. But to a point, I don't. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's called Narcan. Okay? So you, you're losing your customers because they're OD. And so you put the guys to work and you come up with Narcan. Okay? So you can save your clientele. Okay, give it. Have you ever been on a call? I have. Okay, you all know. I mean, all you gotta do is some research on me. I forget how many pages there is on me on Yahoo, and I, you know, it ain't written by me. I could give a rat's ass. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how it is. Okay, number one, I think firefighters on my on my shit all on Yahoo and Google. Okay, but no, I'm asking questions. I want to know why. I want to know why nothing's been done about this. Okay, but yet we can pass other laws to do other things. But nothing's done about the real problem. The real problem lies with the pharmaceutical companies of America. Okay, period. They need to be held liable. Some of these states that are going after them, hey, these attorney generals and stuff, hell yeah. But here's the thing. 
now we've got an epidemic and we've got a whole society out there that's strung out on some. So what do we do with them? We just throw them away? They're disposable? I don't think so. That's where we need to start, right there. Okay, Newsom, it's to you. Oh, now you're still there. It's your still there. Oh, that's right, Aunt Nancy. Thank God for your Aunt Nancy, huh? So here's what we're going to do here. I want to know how come you haven't taken care of the homeless population in your state. Instead, you worry about, oh, we're going to clean up some graffiti and stuff. Why don't you put people back to work doing real things? Okay, let's let's find these people a home. Okay, and from what I can see, okay, from riding around and being in LA and being with the LA County Fire Department there, Goofiston, Galveston, whatever the hell, okay, Mr. Governor, how's that? Okay, but here's what why don't you start right there? The meth addiction in LA County is through the roof, and who pays for that? You don't set up there in Stockton, I'm gonna tell you that, okay, none of you did. Who pays for it is the first responders, my friends, okay, my firefighter, my police officer friends, okay, my dispatchers, my EMTs, that's who pays for them because they have to witness this every day. You don't, okay, you don't have to. So questions are out there, okay, I'm giving you guys a chance to respond, okay, because I'm going to tell you this much, as you all know, I'm very persistent, very persistent. You can ask quite a few people how persistent I am. Okay, so I'm switching gears from the bike to I'm going to do live reports on what I see and what I think and how I feel. Okay, please tune in with me. Bob Quick, Bob Quick's Dirty. Okay, having fun, telling it like it is. Okay, real American style. No snowflakes here. Okay, if you're a snowflake, don't tune in because I'll guarantee I will hurt your feelings. Okay, I still love you though. I'll give you a big hug, but I will hurt your feelings. I'll tell you how it is, man. Everybody, peace. Rock on. Peace. Rock on. Love y'all. I mean that. Love everyone. Everyone have a good day. Bob out of here.